So folks, it has been a while since we played Mon Bazul, and folks, we're back here in the original save because we have some new mod parts to check out. So, we are going to be returning to this game very soon because there is an update on the way. It says it should be here by the end of June, and folks, it looks like we're going to be getting a bunker. So yeah, here's the farm bunker update. It says this is no longer going to be an island in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you're going to see some of Canada's mainland. But the biggest thing I see here is the home bunker. So check this out. Boom. Look at that. There is a full-blown bunker under the bathtub. I'm assuming that's in the cottage. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you could do some fairly illegal stuff there. Don't tell what else is going to be added to this. I know Santa Goat always adds some really good stuff. So if you're excited for that and you're excited for the return here today, hit that thumbs up button and uh, how about we check out some custom parts. So you'll see I have cheats enabled in order to get this. So I've got two sets of mods here. One actually adds cars, which is kind of weird. Oh, that's the mini version. Uh, there's like a big version of this where you could spawn in. Look at that, big cars. Uh, this is like what the vehicle's actually based on. It's a BMW here. Can I tip it over? It's weird how light it is. But yeah, if you look at the similarities, oh, let's kick this little thing out of the way. Actually, can I kick? Oh, I can move it. There we go. Wait, E to use? What, it, what does it mean by using this thing? Uh, I don't think we can use it. But yeah, check this out. Look at the uh, similarities between the two cars here. Uh, this is definitely the car I believe the game is based on. Uh, so we have that. Uh, there's some other cool ones. There's a Miata here, uh, which is kind of cool looking. Uh, we'll stick this over to the side. And it says spawn garage. What does that mean? What the heck is this? Uh-oh. Okay, well, we just spawned in an extra garage. Uh, this kind of looks like the uh, the old broken down barns from, uh, I think it was my summer car. All right, well, that is a thing. But yeah, it's kind of cool seeing new vehicles in the game. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for these custom parts. And folks, these things are absolutely insane. Uh, I'm going to have to take off the wheels real quick in order for this to work. Do I have, oh, there they are. I was looking for my jack stands. Let's go ahead and stick these under here. Uh, we have, sp actually, you know what? We might want to do this outside. The spacers that I'm about to put on, uh, they're a little on the ridiculous side. Okay, so I have this thing pulled out of the garage. You notice I don't have wheels on it uh, because we have a spacer, which I think I might need to take off this one. Can I just slide that off? Oh, yeah. Uh, we have a spacer that probably adds, I think it's like a foot or two. It is absolutely ridiculous. I'm actually kind of curious if it actually changes the, uh, the way the car handles. So we can go. Also, we have some new uh, spoilers here. We have a spoiler one. Where is this thing at? Uh, that looks kind of cool. These aren't paintable at the moment. I'm hoping they add the option. But it's kind of neat seeing uh, the fact that parts can be modded into the game. Here comes the other ones. Dude, this one actually looks pretty sweet. I like that. Uh, it's kind of mocked that up there. I mean, it's gonna look a little odd because it's just white uh, We'll probably have to put that on too. So we've got those. Here's the spacers. So they have a 500 millimeter uh, I'm assuming I need four of those where oh my wait, why did I only get one? Hold on, I need uh, need more. Maybe I can only do one at a time here. Oh, I think one just bonked me in the head. Oh, there they are These look like exhaust like this is not even right Hold on stick it on what the why? Why is this a thing? This is why I had to pull out of the garage, folks, because there's just no way I would have gotten actually on. Wait, can we combine the two spacers? I doubt it. Hold on, let's put this one over here. Uh, let's grab this one. Let's see. I, do I still have the spacer on on this side? No. Hold on, let's stick the spacer on. What if you could combine them? Uh, that would be absolutely incredible. So let's grab this one. Uh, nope, that's not a thing. So you have to have this spacer off. And then you can install the new spacer. Do we think that I can make it back into the garage? Uh, I'm kind of curious. Hold on. Uh, I'd like to be able to use the air wrench here. So let's go boom. Let's turn that little menu off. That way we can see a little bit better. Oh, we are in reverse. It's going to be close, I think. Oh, geez. Um, I can't get back up in the garage because of the thing. Uh, you know what? I think the lip here this is going to be fine. I, I think the stupid little air wrench might make it out here. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, maybe it's a, a blessing we didn't do that anyway. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> oh no, my car looks idiotic. It's so stupid. I mean, it's stupid and genius at the same time. I wonder if we'll make faster lap times out here. 
Uh, we should look at one of our times and just see if we match it. Hold on, you get out of the way. It's kind of odd I can flip a car like that. Uh, yep, there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and get... Do we have a bolt pack just ready to go out here? Uh, I feel like that's something we should have, and apparently we don't. All right, well, we'll have to manually do this real quick. Uh, let's get these on, and let's see what happens. Okay, there they go. I should probably be asking myself why, but I should also ask why not. Uh, I'd love to see more ridiculous custom parts, which, by the way, these are all available on the... Uh, uh, the Mombuzzle, it's called Nexus Mods. Uh, it's a modding website, which is a really, really good website. All right, so here comes the spoiler. That spoiler actually looks cool. If we could paint that, like, that would look actually really good on the car. Uh, the spacer's not so much, but we, uh, we're sticking them on there anyway. Uh, also, there is a front bumper that we can put on there. I'm kind of curious as to what that looks like. All right, so there we go. On. Let's go ahead and get that front bumper out. So we'll go F9 real quick. And let's see. The lawsuit bumper. What is a lawsuit bumper? Oh, you know what? I bet you it spawned on top of the roof. We should probably do this outside. All right. So let's go lawsuit bumper. Boom. Wait. This kind of looks like the bumper that's on there, right? Isn't it? I feel like that's the same bump. Wait a minute. Uh, it's got an open grill, so you got the duct, or the, I would guess that would be like the air ducts that are open there, but the whole front end is actually kind of open. The, honestly, it kind of looks cool. Uh, like I said, hopefully we can paint these in the future. Uh, I like the whole fact that this is open. I think, uh, it should expose, like, the, uh, the coolers and stuff in there, and the radiator, which will be kind of cool. Okay, rip this one off here. Uh, so, put this one on. I actually kind of like that. I like that open... Uh, the openness of it so all right let's install this and we should be good to go so i want to introduce you guys to the uh the extra wide boy here why this exists i don't know but i absolutely love this now so we're definitely gonna uh, keep this for the time being aka this episode okay that was what just happened we just shot through the truck uh-oh uh-oh did the spacer break it? Okay. Let's carefully put it into drive and let's roll out of here. Okay. What is happening right now? What is going? Oh, we just flipped over the wall. Oh, and there's the truck. Really? Are we still tr stuck to the truck? Um, okay. Let's put it in reverse. This is fine. Well, we have managed to already get ourselves stuck here. I have crashed the vehicle by backing it out of the garage. Um, yep. Can I even open the door? Uh, I think I can get out of here. Oh, geez. All right. Well, I think it's winch time. The situation might actually correct itself. I feel like the vehicles are starting to move now. And they might pop off here. I'm hoping. Come on. Come on. You know you want to move. Please move. Uh, maybe. Oh, and it's still stuck. Okay. So we are officially screwed at the moment. So can we... Oh, I can't even open this up. Well, technically, I think I can use this one. Okay, so we'll grab this. We'll place this down here. All right, I want to get this off the thing. Can I only grab... Okay, I think I can grab this vehicle, right? I can't believe we have to rescue our car off the racetrack wall. Like, what is the point of this? Are these going to actually, like, fling out here in a second? This might be a thing. I might need a brace for impact here. Just wanted to do cool stuff with my new spacer. All right, we have cleared the truck. We're ready to probably reset it and pull over to the side. Okay, so we got this. Go ahead and grab that. And let's put it here. And then connect into there. There we go. All right. I think we're going to be good now. Okay, I feel a little bit better that we uh, got that unstuck. Uh, I'll open up the door. I just want to see how this thing drives. That's all I want to do. All right, so crank it up. Okay, carefully move out of here. Okay. There we go. Hey. On, oh, start shifting. Why does it feel like it turns a lot better? I wonder if this is actually having an effect on it here. Okay, let's try the oval. Can I let off a little bit? A little bit of understeer uh, on entry here, but it's so stable. Like, I'm actually playing with the keyboard. I normally play or drive around with a remote, but man, I actually kind of really like these spacers. I mean, it looks ridiculous and I wouldn't keep it on because of how ridiculous it looks. But I feel like I'm fairly competitive here at the Oval, uh, which is a bit of a thing. 
Um, okay. Well, I'm going to call this a successful experiment. Let's head to town real quick. I feel like we need to do a little paint matching. All right. Give me some paints here. Uh, let's see. We have a, a matte white. So actually, I think that just makes it matte. So put that out there. Uh, let's go with the white. Do we have a carbon hood? We have a carbon hood that we can't change the color on. All right, well, uh, that should do for today. So let's go ahead and see what we got. Did I grab a black? I thought I grabbed a white. Hold on, I'm back. Wait, there's a black here. Wait, what? I could have swore I just grabbed a white. Oh, there must have been another can already setting out here. Okay, since we can't paint the custom parts, we're going to match the custom parts, at least in some areas, uh, to try to make this thing look pretty sweet. Oh, I need to paint the, uh, the body here. Let's get this all the way white. Okay, I kind of like this look here, the black doors. Let's go white doors. Uh, maybe just keep the black roof here. Uh, I want to make this thing look somewhat respectable with these ridiculous spacers. I think we did it. I don't even think we need the matte paint. Look at that. Now it actually kind of looks like it belongs, except for it still looks ridiculous. So hold on, let's get a nice look at it there. Oh yeah, that is pretty sweet looking. It's nice and clean. Oh, we gotta get like a mock uh, up street race. Like, could you imagine if we had like the Miata? Uh, I feel like that would be cool. Look at that. Uh, I mean, the model is a little cloudy looking, but it's a what? Actually, I think it's a little bit bigger. Maybe the BMW is not that small. The Miata is a small car. It, it's kind of weird looking. Like this thing, size wise, is definitely bigger than the BMW. Looks like we're ready for a street race. Wait, that Miata is so light. What if we were just to drill it real quick? We're going to send you into space. All right, let's back up all the way down the road real quick. Okay, here we go. I don't think it's going to take much speed here. And yeet. Oh, okay. Well, that did not work the way I wanted it to, Haunt. Huh? Rip the e-brake. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, that is a tree. And there's the water. You know, I'm not really sure what we learned. It's just one of those things where I wanted to check out these mod parts, show you guys that Mombuzzle isn't dead. Just kind of explain that we're just kind of waiting for some updates. But anytime mods come out, I'll definitely check them out. Yeah, these are definitely a thing that are weird and I didn't know I needed them, but I'm happy we downloaded these.